Hi everyone, would you join me for a story? It's called Tops and Bottoms, adapted and illustrated by Janet Stevens, and it's published by Scholastic. I love the artwork in here. Let's see, we've got radishes, beets, some celery, corn, carrots, lettuce, broccoli, beautiful artwork. Tops and bottoms. Here we go. Once upon a time there lived a very lazy bear who had lots of money and lots of land. His father had been a hard worker and a smart business bear and he had given all of his wealth to his son, but all bear wanted to do was sleep. Not far down the road lived a hare. Although Hare was clever, he sometimes got into trouble. He had once owned land too, but now he had nothing. He had lost a risky bet with a tortoise and had sold all of his land to Bear to pay off the debt. Hare and his family were in very bad shape. The children are so hungry, Father Hare. We must think of something, Mrs. Hare cried one day. So Hare and Mrs. Hare put their heads together and cooked up a plan. So there's Mrs. Hare and Hare and all their hungry children. And here's Bear sleeping away. The next day, Hare hopped down the road to Bear's house. Of course he was asleep. Hello, Bear. Wake up, it's your neighbor, Hare, and I have an idea. Bear opened one eye and grunted. Hmm. We can be business partners, Hare said. All we need is this field right here in front of your house. I'll do the hard work of planting and harvesting, and we can split the profit right down the middle. Yes, sir, Bear, we're in this together. I'll work and you sleep. Ho, oh, said Bear. So what'll it be, Bear, asked Hare. The top half or the bottom half? It's up to you, tops or bottoms. Oh, let's see, Bear said with a yawn. <gasps> oh, I'll take the top half, Hare. Right, tops. Hare smiled. It's a done deal, Bear. He's sleeping again. So, Bear went back to sleep and Hare and his family went to work. Hare planted, Mrs. Hare watered, and everyone weeded whole family was working very hard. Bear slept as the crops grew. There he is sleeping on the porch. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, wake up Bear, you get the tops and I get the bottoms. Hare and his family dug up the carrots, the radishes, and the beets. Hare plucked off all the tops, tossed them into a pile for Bear, and put the bottoms aside for himself. He's not very happy. He has all the tops. Bear stared at his pile. But Hare, all the best parts are in your half. You chose the tops, Bear, Hare said. Now, Hare, you've tricked me. You plant this field again, and this season, I want the bottoms. Hare agreed. It's a done deal, Bear. Let's see what happens next. So, Bear went back to sleep, and Hare and his family went to work. They planted, watered, and weeded. <laughs> I love this one. Bear slept as the crops grew. There he is again on the porch. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear! You get the bottoms and I get the tops. Hare and his family gathered all the lettuce, the broccoli, and the celery. Hare pulled off the bottoms for Bear and put the tops in his own pile. Oh no. Bear doesn't look too happy with that. This time the bottoms don't look so good. Bear looked at his pile and scowled. 
Hare, you have cheated me again. But Bear, you wanted the bottoms this time, Hare said. Bear growled. You plant this field again, Hare. You've tricked me twice, and you owe me one season of both tops and bottoms. You're right, poor old Bear, sighed Hare. It's only fair that you get both tops and bottoms this time. It's a done deal, Bear. Let's see what they figured out. Oh, <laughs> guess what? So, Bear went back to sleep, and Hare and his family went to work. They planted, watered, and weeded, and watered and weeded some more. They're hard workers. I love how he sleeps in so many different positions. Bear slept as the crops grew. Here he is again on the porch, this time on the floor. When it was time for the harvest, Hare called out, Wake up, Bear! This time you get the tops and the bottoms. Let's see. Here's our Bear. Doesn't look too happy. Mmm. There in front of Bear's house lay a high field of corn. Hare and his family yanked up every corn stalk. Hare tugged off the roots at the bottom and the tassels at the top and put them in a pile for Bear. Then he carefully collected the ears of corn in the middle and placed them in his own pile. Bear rubbed his eyes and watched. See, Bear, you get the tops and the bottoms. I get the middles. Yes, sir, Bear, it's a done deal. Oh, he's angry now. By now, Bear was wide awake. That's it, Hare, he hollered. From now on, I'll plant my own crops and take the tops, bottoms, and middles. Hare and his family scooped up the corn and hopped down the road toward home. Oh, there he is, hard at work. Bear never again slept through a season of planting and harvesting. Hare bought back his land with the profit from the crops, and he and Mrs. Hare opened a vegetable stand. And although Hare and Bear learned to live happily as neighbors, they never became business partners again. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.